Hey, it's your sister Michelle here doing another video for y'all. You know how I do. Subscribers, what's going on, fam? I love you so much. New subscribers coming in. Guess what? I love you too, boo. Thank you for subscribing. And to all the ones that I already subscribed, thank y'all so much. Y'all have grown my channel, and I can't believe it. Your sister, I told you I'm the next Oprah. I'm almost there, y'all. Some people say that, you know, I've heard that people say that Oprah's a narcissist. I don't know if that's true or not, but I still want her. I still want her money. Yes, don't we all? <laughs> to the narcissist watching, what's going on? Huh? Your termite sandwich eating bastards, what's going on? Yeah, your maggot spaghetti eating fuckers. Yeah, I said it. YouTube, don't you block me. Yes, this video right here is going out to all of my family. And to tell you one thing I think we all have in common, because I've seen these in my comments, the real true nature of the narcissist. And the narcissist is a tortured motherfucking soul yes the narcissist is a to tortured person they're truly tormented and tortured inside their spirit and i'm let me give you the prime example y'all ready for this and i know you can relate because i've seen people say this but i know it really happened to me i used to watch my narcissist at night it was like watching the fucking scary movie he would be talking fighting in his sleep talk talking crazy in his sleep just all kinds of weird disruption you know disturbances in his sleep and I know why that is there's no you know there's no rest for the wicked come on now and they really get tormented in their sleep and if you know any of them that have done that drop down and let me know because I've seen a couple people say it and I know I can't be the only one outside the few that I've seen you deal with the true narcissist you will see that show up in their sleep patterns yes they are tormented by their actions that's why I always tell you don't think they're getting away with stuff even if it seems like it they get tormented in places that you have no idea. Very tormented souls. Yes, I've seen some of them fall out crying over stuff that you wouldn't even think would make somebody cry. I've seen them and they hold in stuff and hold grudges so much that it eventually starts to spill out, right? They are some tortured souls. You know what I'm saying? Hurt people hurt people, right? Ain't that what they say? Tormented people torment people, right? Come on now. Come on, fam. Yes, you'll see it in their sleep patterns. They are fighting demons. And I say that straight up. They're fighting demons in their sleep or whatever it is. Okay? Yeah. You see them becoming alcoholics. Most of them drink a lot. Do drugs. Am I lying? Come on now. They do all that to keep down what's really going on deep inside. That's a way to ease stuff. And, 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 and you know, not just the narcissist. A lot of people do that. I mean, hell, I had my moments where, hell, a bottle of wine was my best friend. When I was going through a lot of pain, and sometimes that happens in life, we do take things, you know, as a way to ease stuff. But they take it to a different level, baby. They Almost all of them, they got some kind of addiction. I don't care. Some of them even are addicted to shopping. And I know that sounds crazy. Some of them are addicted to pornography. Nothing wrong with porn. But I'm just saying, they're addicted to something that's going to make them feel better about themselves. And a lot of times it's alcohol and drugs, baby. Yes, they're addicted to people, most importantly. We're also their addiction. That's why they do. They overindulge with all the different people they fuck with because there you have it. They have to have something to help ease that torment. But that torment is never going to ease up on them because when you do wrong, wrong comes back to you. Now, one thing for sure, you might can run from people, but you can't run from what you've done to people. Come on now. Sister, don't say something. Listen to me again. You might can run from people, but you can't run from what you did to people and that's what happens to the narcissist they're very tormented and that's why they tormented you like that because all that gook and all that mess that's inside it ain't no good for nothing spoiled asses they ooze it out and I even seen this now y'all might think I'm crazy for this Just drop down if you, you, you've seen this because I have some of them you can even go to the households like if they live in a household for so long or they live in a house apartment wherever they live at they've been there for so long Whatever is in them ends up in that household. Now, let me tell you something. Everybody, and I don't mean no harm, just about, because he's still, my narcissist is still in the household he's been in for many, many years, what his family is. So he stays there a lot or whatever. And everybody that comes in that household has issues. Yes. Yes, and that's another reason why I stopped my children from going because I even when my son would go there, he would come home and I could tell a difference in my son from when he's with me all the time, right? Come on now. I'm sure you can understand that. Even the spaces they occupy become tormented spaces. I have seen it firsthand. Yes, you lay with dogs, you get fleas. Ain't that what they say? You lay with a narcissist, 
You'll get more than fleas. Get worms, termites, bed bugs, centipedes, all kinds of shit. But anyway, that the spaces they occupy also become that kind of haven. I remember now, listen to me, this is a true story. I remember one day my oldest daughter's boyfriend, who had never been over to the house at the time. Now, this has been years back. He, we went over there one day to pick up my son, my baby boy. And her boyfriend was in the car with us that day. Okay? Now, this is deep. Now, come on. We pulled up in the driveway, and the young man was sitting in the back seat. He's a very quiet kind of guy. He was very quiet. He didn't talk a lot. Okay? Maybe he was scared of me. He thought, you know, he was messing with my daughter. You know how that go. But he was a very quiet guy. We pulled up in the parking lot, and a few minutes later, we're sitting there waiting. He looks at me. He says, Miss Michelle, can we leave? So I turned around and looked at him. I said, what? What's wrong? I'm thinking, what? what's wrong? And I thought he was, the boy was sick or something. He said, no, I don't feel right here. Something over here ain't right. Something in me, you know, that intuition. We all have intuition, but he, his intuition was kicking his behind. He was like, as soon as we pulled up here, I just didn't feel right. I seen the people here and it's just something in my spirit didn't feel right. Now, this is a young man who didn't know anything about these people. He knew that I had kids with this man, but he had never been around the people, right? But he was, that's what I'm trying to take. The space that they occupy can be just as dramatic and evil as they are. Yes, that's why I tell you all the time, you got to remove yourself completely from them. That's why they say no contact with nothing that they have any contact with because it's true. It can get on all kinds of things. Anything that's around in them, whether it be friends, family, like I said, places they live in, whatever, it all becomes the same kind of gunk. I promise you that. It's crazy, right? Because there's such tormented soul that it oozes out of them. Yeah. Listen to your sister. Be careful out here now. Dealing with these narco rats. Yes. I said it. YouTube don't block me. But the narcissist is a tormented soul. That's why it's best that you got yourself out of it. And we should be glad. I know it's hurtful and it's hard. But be praising God and whatever you believe in, the universe, all that. And I told you before that you have exited from something that you really don't know how deep this shit go. Yes, it does. Ooh, you know, your sister don't got chill. It's deep. It goes real deep. Yeah. And you better be glad that you're no part of it. And if they discarded you, it's the best thing they could have ever done for you. Because now you can get away from that demonic shit. Because I don't care what nobody say. It's demonic. Hell, look at mine. He looked like Jeepers Creepers. Ain't that a demon? Oh, my God. I love y'all so much. Bye.